Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to bring you today's game here on the 2K Sports Network. Bringing you the action from the Oceanic Bowl. Playing on their home turf, we have the Vipers. They'll be squaring off against the Ghosts. I'm Dan Stevens. I'll be calling the game. And as always, Peter O'Keefe will deliver the color. Here are today's lineups, and there are some real standouts, Peter. You got two phenomenal defenders, one high, one low, and you have a solid lineup besides that. Just look at that list. But they won't have it easy, though. They're facing a tough adversary. Well, when you think of great players, you picture guys like this. They are the epitome of excellence, and with a supporting cast such as this one, all bets are off. Okay, Peter, here's the coin toss. You ready to go? Good to see you again. Gentlemen, please make your call. Give us heads. Heads it is. We'll take the ball. The Ghosts have won the toss and select to receive. Owen kicks off and the game is underway. Number 82 fields his way back at the eight. Stop at the 32. Number 82 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Ghosts bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their 32-yard line. Number 82 hauls in the pass and is well past the markers for a first down. First down, Ghosts. First and ten. Ball at the 46 yard line. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Foster pulls in a lob here, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Touchdown! Kerry Foster fights for every inch of turf he can get. Watch here as he makes the catch. Right there, and then he runs for a few more. Classic That's overachiever, not unlike myself. Uh-huh. This is a take-no-prisoners kind of guy when he is in the red zone. Oh, after piling up some good yardage on the day, he makes a big play here for a score. Here's the extra point, and it's good. The extra point is good. Epstein boots it away. Simon fields the kickoff at the 11. Another move brought down at the 35. Leonardo Simon took a kick that wasn't so hot and burst through the defense for a big game. The Vipers offense takes the field and they will start at their 35-yard line. Number 92 gets the sack way back at the 27. 
Eight yards on the play. Number 92 forced the offense back a few yards with a terrific sack in the backfield. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. the bullet out left and that's a gain of 17 on the play. Freddie Washington made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. Huge pickup and the first down is now within striking distance. Boy, that's exactly what they needed if they wanted to keep this drive alive. Big play. Right you are, Peter. Let's see if they can convert. Woods chews up four yards and that will bring up first down. Grabs the rope right side and loses yards on that one. Washington throws a bullet and it's complete for a gain of three yards. a tough pitch and is at the 15. First down and this is the seventh play of the drive. Hauls it in right side, and he's looking for room. Number 54 takes him down back at the 12. Number 54 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Number 97, Jackson, way back at the 19. It'll be fourth down. Number 97 hands the offense a huge loss by getting the sack way in the backfield. Check it out. Oh, yeah, he went right through the O-line and got to his man. Great effort. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Number nine will hold the kick. Owen kicks from 36 yards out and puts it through. It's good. Stephen Owen has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. Owen kicks it off. Number 82 fields it way back at the 8. Tackled at the 28. Number 82 got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Ghosts got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 28-yard line. Owens takes it for his second carry and picks up the first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains hey. move is one of the best first sounds in the game for an offense. First down, both tight ends left. Owens takes it off the toss and takes it upfield. Brought down at the 47. He picks up six yards on the play. Number 20 credited with the tackle. 
Don't buy that play action fake. 47 yard line. Owens will lose four on the play, and that brings up third down. Am I too hot for you, baby? This is a big one, boys. We need to stop. Hype it up! Hype it up! Great. Third and eight from the Ghosts, 43 yards. Reyes lofts this one out to the left, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Number 20 calculates the pattern right off the line, locates the ball. Oh, just gets a finger on it. That broke up a sure completion. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Guy lines up for the punt. Guy gets the snap and hunts it away. Simon fields the punt at the 23. Brought down at the 28. Leonardo Simon fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Vipers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 28-yard line. Wood gets the toss and runs into traffic. Watson tackles him for a short loss. Jeff Watson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Call again and choose up about four on the play. Number 64 credited with the tackle. Okay, coach wants this one. Double 50 Z. Tight end cross. Let's do it. Break. Third down, three wide outs in the game. From your Vipers, 32 yards. Washington throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Number 29 couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Ingram lines up to punt after the three and out. Ingram gets the snap and punts it away. Number 82 fields it at the 29. Brought down at the 33. Number 82 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Ghosts stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at their 33-yard line. Shoots forward for nine yards. Eric Owens has a great offensive line in front of him. They made that play happen. Yep, those blockers opened up the hole for him. A huge game. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Owens gets the toss and runs into traffic. Tackled at the 46. First and 10 from the Ghosts, 46 yards.
Owens cruises out to the left side and will gain close to six. Number 82. And his team made a favor with that key block downfield. This is an offense in which everybody plays their parts perfectly on every down. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Owens carries it for the fourth straight time and picks up a couple. Eric Owens powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Number 91 makes the sack very close to the line of scrimmage. That will bring up fourth down. Number 91 just nails the quarterback on this play behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, Dan, that was a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. They come up with the big play, and on third and short, they force the fourth down. Yeah, they even caused the loss of yardage. What a time to come up big. Guy gets ready to punt it away. Guy takes the snap and punts it away. Simon takes the punt at the 14. Brought down at the 19. Five on the play. Ball is spotted at the 19 yard line. The Vipers take the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as we start it at their own 19-yard line. Washington fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number 45 has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Woods loses one on the play, and that brings up second down. Number 64 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his third tackle of the game. And that'll do it for quarter the number one. The Ghosts are out in front, seven to three. Your Viper, three. This is a big one right here, boys. Split twins, strong foe sweep. Ready? Showtime. Second and 11. The ball at the 32 yard line. Woods gets past the line and gains close to 10 yards on the play. Icky Woods took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Woods takes it off the toss and passes the line. Tackled at the 45. First down from the shotgun. Washington lets it go here, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Touchdown! Leonardo Simon packs on a bundle after the run here. Watch the replay, folks. 
The catch and now the run. A multi-tiered play. Yeah, like cake with three tiers of frosting. Oh, that sounds good. Does everything have to be turned into food for you? They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter, and they have to be happy with their performance on that drive. Yeah, great calls and great execution. It's good. Don't get down, guys. This is nothing. Nothing. When we get that lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. Kicks it off. Number 82 fields the kickoff at the 11. Brought down at the 33. Number 82 took the pint sized kick and ran it back for a gallon sized return. The Ghosts have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their 33 yard line. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. 23 on the play. First down, go. Josh Reyes makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow. Now that is one confident QB. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 91 yards and no interceptions. Owen has his number called on first down and picks up a couple. Eric Owens used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Gallery, <laughs> Jackson way back at the 49. Jeff Gallery got a nice sack in the backfield that sent this offense backpedaling. Spin class? <laughs> That's funny, as if I still work out. That'll be his first sack of the game. Third and long, baby. Let's get this ball back. Third and 14. Reyes throws this one over the middle, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. First down, Ghosts. Number 15 is squeezed by two defenders on this play, but still comes up with the ball. Oh, that's pure skill. You can't coach that. On third and very, very long, and they come out with a big play to move the chains. That was really quite a call. Yeah, it sure was. Got to give those guys on the sideline credit for drawing up that bad boy. Owens gains 10 yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. Eric Owens got yards by staying so close to his blockers, I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. <laughs> Jenkins takes him down back at the 13. Steve Jenkins would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his second tackle so far. Third and two. Picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up fourth down. Maurice Davis made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. The defense's back was against the wall, and they rose to the challenge, Peter. Yeah, Dan, that's great deep. They had to make a stand here, and they stood together. It will be fourth down. The Ghosts want to talk it over, and they take their first time out.
No points here. We're gonna bust through the line, block this kid. Fourth down, one yard to go. Epstein from 29 yards out, and it's good. Kevin Epstein has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. Epstein boots it away. Simon catches it back at the 10. Tackled at the 39. Leonardo Simon gets a good size kick sent his way, but he's ready for it. And the defense doesn't seem to be ready for him. He gets some nice return yards there. The Vipers take the field and will start out at their 39-yard line. the first down and a whole lot more. Freddie Washington goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 145 yards and one touchdown. Washington gets all of his arm into this pass, and it's bobbled and dropped incomplete. Washington. Leonardo Simon muffs an almost guaranteed catch there. I imagine he's going to hear about that one when he gets back to the huddle. Well, if I know him, a few choice words from the quarterback are nothing compared to the chewing out he's given himself. Wow, you don't see that very often. His first drop of the game. Well, Dan, usually he's Mr. Dependable out there, and you have to wonder Second if he heard ten. some footsteps. Second down, both wide outs to the right. Number 54 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. No way, baby! No way! Third and ten. Washington just rifled this one, and the reception's made at the 39, and he stopped right there. Number 29 will be credited with the tackle. Fourth down coming up. Number 29 made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They stopped them cold. Fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Ingram gets the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Sammy Ingram saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Ghosts came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Reyes makes the pass, and it's complete at the 22, tackled at the 25. 
Number 87 was wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and five from the Ghosts, 25 yards. Games five on the play, and that brings up third down. Steve Jenkins brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. That's his third tackle of the game. Owen gets the call on third down and gets the first and more. The 45, 40, finally popped out of bounds at the 38. First down. Earl Campbell eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops him, but way past the marker, this one's going to hurt. A big pick up there, and this defense cannot be happy. If there was any saving grace there, it was that they didn't give up six points as well. it off right tackle and maybe picks up one on the play. Eric Owens used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Stansbury will get the handoff and maybe picks up one on the play. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Stansbury has the rope right side, and they get the first on third and long. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Neutral zone infraction, number 91. Deep. The penalty is declined. First and ten. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Reyes rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's tipped incomplete. Number 20 came in and got a hand on that football, left no chance for a reception there. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Man, we need more out of you. Where you been today? Don't worry, man. I'm going to get it turned around. Second down, tight end to the left. Goes right up the middle and heads left. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. First and ten from the Viper, 14 yard line. Sacks him, and the clock will continue to run. their second. Did you see that? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Watch the double team over there. Reyes 
Makes the throw after the play action fake and it's tipped. Incomplete. Wait a minute. We have a flag down on the play. Let's get the call from the field. Illegal forward pass. Number seven. Josh Reyes was past the line of scrimmage on that play, which made the pass irrelevant. That was an illegal forward pass. The penalty will hurt them big from here. It pushes them to fourth down. Yeah, if you ever wanted proof why you can't get sloppy on the field, here it is. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Newton Jr. will hold the kick. Epstein boots it from 46 yards out and they take the lead. Kevin Epstein takes the field goal, but watch how close the ball gets to the upright. Man, a few more inches and he'd have made the highlight reel, not the way he would have wanted to though. The field goal puts them in the lead, which is where they wanted to be heading into the locker room. Let's see if they can build on that slight lead in the second half. Epstein kicks it away. Simon fields the kickoff at the seven. Makes the tackle, brought down at the 30. Leonardo Simon received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Vipers comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before the break. They'll start at their own 30-yard line. Ends up losing five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Number 92 targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his third tackle of the game. Let's go. Second and 14. Ball at the 25-yard line. Washington throws a big high lob, and the reception is made for a first and more. 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Oh, me, baby! Woo! Here's the extra point, and it's good. Yeah. Owen sends it downfield. Number 82 takes it at the 14. Brought down at the 31. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Vipers are out in front, 17 to 13. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I'll tell you, first downs have really been the story here. The Ghosts should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Foster is going to run a great route here. Have a look as he creates some space and is able to bring this in. A 54-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Ghosts strike first and go up by seven. Trying to answer back, the Vipers with the ball at the 50. Washington went to work on third down, and he was able to find his man. That set up a 36-yard field goal. 
Now early in the second quarter, the Vipers back by four. Washington had it working as he connected with his man here for a big one. They take the lead for the first time and are now up by three. The Ghosts, now in the second quarter, Reyes went to work on third down and he was able to find his man. That set up a 30-yard field goal. Game tied, 10 all. Washington would find his target on this one. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards and they had to punt it away. The Ghosts, late in the second quarter, Owens got the call on third down and he did not disappoint. That set up a 46-yard field goal. Still late in the second quarter, the Vipers trailing by three. Lewis emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. And that will do it. The Vipers are holding on to a lead, 17 to 13. All right, Dan, nice work. The Vipers will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead, 17 to 13. Let's get down to the field and the action. Epstein sends it away to begin the second half. Simon fields the second half kickoff at the 14. Tackled at the 31. Leonardo Simon got a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The Vipers got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their 31-yard line. Washington throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Ah, Sprint, we're using Triple 50X, opposite flow. Let's make it count. Bro Second and seven from your Vipers, 34 yards. past the markers for a first down. Ryan Black has a small crowd of defenders working him and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but definitely not bad. This has been quite a clinic on how to execute a short passing attack. Great job by the quarterback of hitting his receivers in stride so they can continue to advance the ball with their legs after the catch. Washington throws a heater right sideline and it's intercepted. Number 29 makes what has to be the play of the week, Dan. You know we're showing this one again. Oh, fantastic job picking off the quarterback. Then he sees his route and powers upfield to the end zone for six. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. Epstein is back for the point after. Norton Jr. on the hold. Here's the point after, and it's good. The point is good. Epstein kicks it off. Simon fields the kickoff at the 14. Brought down at the 34. Leonardo Simon could have really done some damage off that less than stellar kick, but his run back is only so-so.
The Vipers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their 34-yard line. Woods catches the bullet out left and loses yards on that one. Number 41 got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Hey. Second and 10. Ball at the 34 yard line. Washington really rifles this pass, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Earl Lewis fights for every inch of turf he can get. Watch here as he makes the catch. Right there, and then he runs for a few more. Classic overachiever, not unlike myself. Uh-huh. These guys make very great targets. Not to mention, it takes a whole defense to bring them down. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. When that bull starts roaming around in that china shop, things get broken pretty fast. Woods takes his 10th carry of the game and searches for a hole. Watson drills him for a loss at the 45. Jeff Watson read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 54 takes him down back at the 49. Four yards on the Number 54 keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles. Lalee grabs the fastball in the middle, and they get the first on third and long. Jermise Lilly is so open on this play, it's ridiculous, Dan. Was the defense even on the field? Let's take a look. Well, they were all right, but they just weren't paying attention. What a play. A massive pickup and an obvious first down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on that baby. Washington tips to the left sideline, and he's on target for a gain of five. Freddie Washington has a knack for sticking square pegs through round holes when it comes to completing a tough pass. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Schaefer catches it in the flat and loses yards on that one. Number 29 would not be denied and dropped them for a huge loss. Big play. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Third and five. Woods will get stopped at the line, and that brings up fourth down. Jeff Watson brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there, but not enough for the first. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. Fourth down, five yards to go. Owen from 26 yards out, and... It's good! Stephen Owen has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. Uh, well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Owen kicks it off. Number 82 fields it way back at the 5. Tackled at the 29. Number 82 received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. Ball will be placed around the 29 yard line.
The Ghosts bring their offense on the field and will start the drive at their own 29-yard line. Number 15 catches it in the flat, and that will be a gain of three yards. Number 15 snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and seven from the Ghosts, 32 yards. The ball's loose. They get it back. Number 91 takes them back, way back at the 23. Number 73 loses the ball temporarily on this play. He's able to get it back himself, but they lose some ground on that play. The fumble was temporary, but the damage was permanent. Third and 16. Be ready for the double up. 23 yard line. Back at the 20. That will bring up fourth down. Earl Campbell hauled down the quarterback for the loss of a little yardage and a lot of momentum. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you could say that again. So far, he's got two tackles and two sacks. Takes the snap and punts it away. Simon yields the punt at the 45. Brought down at the 50. Leonardo Simon didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Vipers offense takes the field and they are already halfway home. They'll start at the 50 yard line. Woods snaps the missile and he's at the 50, and he's stopped right there. Mike Hunt would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his second tackle so far. This is a big one right here, boys. Straight up with 50x A post. Let's make it count. Right. Second and 10 from Wolf Vipers, 49 yard line. Washington sings it to the right side, and it's caught at the 46, and he stopped right there. Earl Lewis had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. It takes a lot of courage to make your living over the middle, I'll tell you, but we've seen him there several times today. Yeah, that's a guy who's willing to sacrifice his body to make his quarterback look good. Third down from the shotgun. Woods falls in the pass, and they get the first on third and long. Freddie Washington throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Well, I, I don't know if any defensive adjustments were made at halftime, Peter. I sure can't tell. <laughs> this quarterback just knows how to make everyone play his game. In his third great quarter, he's still forcing the D to play by reaction damage, which takes control right out of their hands. Woods picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Second and eight from the Ghosts, 25 yard line. Get her, set, go, 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 go. Woods will get the carry on second down and gets just past the line, but not by much before being brought down. Icky Woods didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. I guess the defense had their number. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. Here we go. Here we go. Please. Please. Watch the right side. Watch the right side. Washington fires this one over the middle, and 
the completion is made. Short of the markers, however. Fourth down coming up. Number 29 shut down the ball carrier just before he got to the markers. A good gain, but not good enough. They let the ball move close to the first, but they could not let it pass. That's a great job holding them back, Dan. Fourth and short. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Owen kicks from 37 yards out, and they take the lead. Stephen Owen puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. That's his third field goal of the day, and giving your team nine points is nothing to sneeze at. Well, unless those nine points are covered by pollen. Watch it. Sorry, that makes no sense. All right. Sorry. Owen kicks it off. Number 82 fields the kickoff at the 7. Drag down at the 29. Number 82 got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. Ball is spotted at the 29 yard line. The Ghosts, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at their own 29-yard line. Owens catches it in the flat and tries to get free. Brought down at the 33. Eric Owens was wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job or not. He was shot out the first half, but with that catch, he gets an opportunity to make up for it here in the third. He ran a great route and gave his quarterback a nice target to throw to. That's textbook. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Vipers with a small lead, 23-20. Reyes throws a bullet to the flat and it's caught at the 31, stopped at the 35. Number 82 catches it over the middle and they convert on third down. First down, ghosts. Number 82 has just one guy on him and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. Oh. <laughs> I doubt that. He would have smoked you like a salmon. Hmm, that, that sounds pretty good. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. Reyes rifles it out left side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Number 82 faces double coverage, but nothing seems to phase this guy. Great move to get open. Well, the defense had him blanketed, but he's the only one that made a play on the ball. Boy, he zips through the passing lanes in those medium zones. Yeah, the defense has to try and close him out of there, or he's just going to keep on coming. Josh Reyes is a quarterback who doesn't feel he has to force the issue. Yeah, he made a good, quick decision to fire the football right in there. And Dan, in his mind, nothing was going to stop him from completing that pass, uh, unless, of course, it was intercepted. Whoa, he stuck that one in there for his That's second the, TD, as he has been doing game in and game out. Yeah, he's proven today that he is the man. the point after and it's yeah, good. Point is good.
Epstein sends it downfield. Simon fields it at the 10. Popped hard at the 31. The Vipers will start this drive at their 31-yard line. Number 92, Saxon, way back at the 25. Six yards on the play. Number 92 gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. He's now got one and a half sacks on the game. Woods gains 10 yards on the play, and that will bring up third down. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Number 92 gets the sack way back at the 29. That will bring up fourth down. Number 92 gets to his man in the backfield for a big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Let's have a look. You know, D Dan, it's all about focus and persistence. He was not going to let that quarterback get that pass off. That's his fifth sack on the season, Peter. He can get in there. The numbers prove it. Ingram gets the snap and punts it away. Number 82 fields the punt at the 36. Tackled at the 39. Ball will be placed around the 39 yard line. The Ghosts passed well last time out. We'll see if they stick to the passing game as they start this drive at their 39 yard line. Owen. Punches this one left of center and picks up a couple. Eric Owens played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not much there. It'll be second down. Right. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down with the tight end right. brings up third down. Eric Owens played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Owens will get the carry on third down and converts the third down. Eric Owens played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Owens will get the carry on first down, and will end up losing a bunch here. Jeff Gallery makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Pow, you're down. Nice tackle. Another tackle, and he's starting to fill up the stat book. He is dominating, Dan. So far, he's got five tackles and one sack. Owens will get the carry on second down and will gain close to six. Eric Owens got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. They got some, but they'll need more than that if they want to convert on this third down. Yeah, they have a ways to go, Dan. They would have loved a few more yards out of that play. Owens carries it yet again and 
Smith he gets tackled short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. Keon Ferry made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Guy lines up for the punt. Come on, get that point! Guy gets the snap and punts it away. The Vipers find themselves in dangerous territory and will start this one way back at their own five-yard line. Number 29 makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Number 29 came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. For the third time today, he gets enough of that pass to force it incomplete. Well, at this point, Dan, why do you keep trying to throw through him? That's very risky. Washington lets it go here, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Number 28 cuts in there and gets himself in a perfect spot. Absolutely, Peter. He's able to keep the receiver from getting near it. Well, the closer you play, the better your shot is at breaking up the completion. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air, and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. a piece of this one but that's all incomplete fourth down coming up george porter broke and the ball was almost there just a couple inches short or that would have been a completion although that was incomplete we've rarely mentioned that word with this offense and that is held true all the way up here to the fourth quarter yeah the d has had a very long day today ingram gets the ball and punts it away Number 82 hauls it in at the 35. Brought down at the 29. Number 82 fielded the ball, and although he was dropped pretty quickly, that terrible kick gives him some good field position. The Ghosts are already in field goal position to start this drive and are going to line up at the 29-yard line. Owen gets the handoff and the hand left. Maurice Davis got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. You don't get nowhere running the ball. Strong right, strong right. Strong, strong, strong. <laughs> Picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Eric Owens used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. Third down, one man back. off his left guard and he gets taken down well short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Tavarius Oldham brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some gain there but not enough for the first. They stopped them cold. Fourth coming up. Exactly what this defense needed to do. Fourth down. Eight yards to go. with the 44-yard attempt, and it's through the goalposts, and good. Kevin Epstein sends it whizzing between the goalposts for a field goal. 
straight down the pike. That field goal makes him three for three out there. Hasn't missed one yet. And you can't coach that. Epstein boots it away. Simon catches it back at the eight. Tackled at the 32. Leonardo Simon received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Vipers take the field with time winding down. They'll start at their 32-yard line. Washington throws a beauty to the right side, and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Watson kicks it away on the coverage, incomplete. Jeff Watson couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the Second throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Washington goes it to the left sideline, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Freddie Washington pulled out all the stops with a fantastic cross-field throw for the completion back there. You know, it takes incredible accuracy and arm strength to make a throw like that. Great job. You have to respect this offensive game plan. That was their third connection downfield today, Peter. Yep, the coaches must have found a weak spot in that secondary. Black takes the bullet out left, and that's not enough. He's short of the marker. Fourth down coming up. Adele Shakir made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. That's his third tackle of the game. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Washington throws a high, long one to the right, and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on downs. Troy Hunter gets a hand on this one. Right there, that's how you play D. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time the house wins and they turn it over. The Ghosts start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.55. Owens is at the 50, 35. The Vipers take their first time off. Come on, D! Too much! Too much! Don't give him anything! Oh, the Vipers will take a timeout. That's their second. Eric Owens used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down with two tight ends to the right. It for the Vipers take a timeout. That's their final one. Third down. The clock is stopped at 140. Oh, 
Owens. Dave Gary, number 30. And That's what you get. Yeah. First down. Woo, you're on fire, man. Just out here grinding away like I always do. Great. First and ten from the Viper, 19 yards. Two, two. We got to stop the run. Move me. Reyes takes a knee, and the clock will tick down. A loss of yards here, but they aren't too concerned about that. They just want to keep that clock moving. Second and 11, ball at the 20-yard line. Well, Dan, they're not going to hurry here, and there's really no reason to. They're going to take as much time as possible. Reyes takes a knee, and that will do it. Well, that loss will bring up third down, but they can't be too worried about it. They're still eating up the clock. And that is going to do it for this one. The Ghosts come out on top 30 to 23. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 29 would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off and then he had some clear sailing in front of him. A 59-yard play that set up touchdown for the visitors. The Ghosts now have their first lead of the half and go up by three. Still early in the third, ball at the 50. Lalee had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. That set up a 27-yard field goal. Towards the end of the third quarter, game tied, 20 all. Owen is called upon to attempt the field goal, and this one is true. The Ghosts, later in the fourth, number 82 makes him pay here as he's running a deep route, and this ball is right where it needs to be. A 37-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Ghosts winning 27 to 23. After driving two yards on three plays, Epstein would be called upon for the field goal try and he'd come through. A 45-yard field goal. Still late in the fourth quarter, Washington would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. After a stop on fourth down, the Ghosts out in front by seven. Owens is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening and then he's off to the races. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Ghosts squeaked out a win, 30 to 23. Okay, here's your 2K Sports player of the game. Josh Reyes turned in yet another legendary outing. What a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talent. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.